like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Hey, remember when Finagle said that if an experiment works, something has gone wrong? Well, that's not the case here. From weird to amazing, these are the wrong experiments that went right quite unexpectedly. Jet Bicycle When you mix weird and crazy, you get Colin Furs, the modern scientist who's created a bicycle that's a total safety hazard by attaching a pulse jet to an old lady's bike. So far, he's proven that you do not need fancy labs or expensive tools to invent something extraordinary. I mean, check out this bike. It's the fastest mobility scooter ever that he created out of total junk. This beauty can reach speeds of 50 miles an hour. And I just thought I should mention that it's got no safety measures attached to it. But that's not even the exciting part. When the combustion hits, the engine exhaust gives out actual flames at full throttle. Yeah, I know, even looking at the thing feels dangerous. But the good thing is that this experiment is fully operable, and if you try it, you are likely to survive just like Furs. Molten Salt Explosion Mixing salt and water is a normal thing for us, but have you ever tried mixing molten salt with water? Hmm, just kidding, don't do that, as it can lead to some really unexpected results, or at least not without safety measures. And if you really want to, try these simple steps by the backyard scientists. To begin, melt the salt at a high temperature and slowly pour it into the water, and it goes kaboom in seconds. I'm sure you're wondering how that's even possible. Well, it goes like this. When the salt goes into the water, the salt and water react at high velocity, which gives this almost life-threatening explosion. Yeah, even though this guy made it look really fun, it's not something for the amateurs. Slap cooking. We are all looking for a quick and exciting way to cook our steak, but have you ever tried slapping it to get that perfect medium rare? Well, this guy did, and it actually worked. Yeah, to do it, he just had to create a whole gadget that cost a lot of money, but it's all justified for the love of science and juicy fillets. The whole slapping thing needed the right consistency to reach the required heat, and after many failures and tries, Louis Weiss, the guy who invented the slapnator, was able to cook it. Well, it did taste like it had been chewed on, which you get if you slap anything that hard. But the positive news is that the experiment worked. It may have given us the worst tasting steak ever, but still, kudos to the guy for thinking out of the box like that. Edible water. Feeling thirsty? Why don't you eat some water? Yeah, you heard me right, eat the water, as scientists have finally pulled off the creation of edible water. Well, when the census told how many people throw plastic bottles away, let's just say that the number was frightening. So, deal with the recycling mess and minimize the use of energy to make these bottles. The Skipping Rocks Labs came up with the idea of biodegradable bottles that you can eat. This unusual technique uses seaweed that is processed to make a gelatinous membrane that can hold water inside it and is very safe to eat. And they also are coming up with flavored water. So farewell plastic and hello water orbs. Jumping on a moving trampoline. All right, how do you fool gravity? Well, with the help of relative velocity. Yep, I'm sure you're wondering that. Is jumping on a moving vehicle possible? Well, it is if you rub physics just right. Just look at the guy go. He goes on that trampoline with his hands spread wide like it's the safest place in the world. But really, if you get the numbers right, almost all physics work that way. But only if minor things like air resistance or speed go wrong, we all know where that would lead. Drone lifting a kid. When you buy a heavy lift drone, I'm sure you think it would be a good extra hand with lifting stuff. But this guy took it a step too far when he decided to use his drone to drop some extra special packages. Yup, by that, I mean his own kids. Maybe he got tired of picking up and dropping off his kids from school. So he thought he would opt for this, which definitely looks dangerous. 
But drone manufacturers may boast of their drone's ability to lift a human being off the ground. Even his little daredevil son looks quite eager to fly away, though wearing a helmet for protection and everything. But luckily for the entire family, he didn't get that far. Still, quite an experiment, I'd say. 10 points for drone driving skills, parenting gets a zero. Drone replacing light bulb. Imagine if your light bulb died and you find climbing all the way up to reach the ceiling annoying. Well, let me tell you that there's a better way to change those old bulbs. You can use a drone for it. Look, if a huge one can pick up a human being, it's not so far-fetched. A small one can surely do at least that. All you have to do is place the bulb in its little grabby claw, and voila! The best part is that a drone accurately grabs and unscrews the one in your ceiling too. So if you're looking to replace a light bulb on your own, it's worth a try. Self-driving potato. In a short video, an unusual invention by a Swiss engineer who took what appears to be a potato and turned it into an electrified companion named Pontus. Well, the engineer claimed that he used a microchip to harness the energy and added a tiny capacitor to store the energy. And he added a control board programmed to give the potato a four-point compass, which it can stop at any point. While looking at the video makes you feel like the potato is making its direction choices. And it seems like over time, though, Pontus's behavior brought the potato and his creator closer together. What do you think? Would you consider having a vegetable friend like that? Sunscreen on your face. You should never miss a good old sunscreening before going out, and this experiment will show you why. A woman named Jess Body went out and tested which product protects our skin best from the sun with the help of a UV camera. The camera showed that covering in the form of a black layer on the skin. Well, the result should be that the stick versions of SPF offer a convenient way to apply it, or you can use lotion. But apart from that, all other calming sun protection beauty products appear to be bogus. World Record Elephant Toothpaste Elephant toothpaste is nothing like regular toothpaste, and it certainly isn't meant for elephants, but rather a chemical reaction. But this clip is more than that, and it is by far the largest. Well, things got down when YouTuber Nick Juhas teamed up with David Dobrik and released the video of their latest maneuver. In the video, he showed Juhas the list of calculations and ingredients he needed to get the job done. Once everything was set up, they dropped the catalyst, which rapidly expanded into a towering volcano of blue foam. The foam quickly overtook the house, spilling over onto the glass-walled balcony. But all of this crazy idea not only ended up in a really cool YouTube video, but also in a world time record. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows? We might even feature it in one of our videos. Today's open discussion points to the experiment in which a courageous group of students and teachers from Mexico stood still in order to prove that bulls only attack if provoked. More than 50 students were standing in the arena, and quite unexpectedly, the bull touched no one. Boo Bubbles. What do you get when you combine dry ice and soap? Well, ghostly, smoke-filled bubbles that are perfect for your next Halloween decor. This unexpected experiment was performed by Steve Spangler of Nine News, where he created these bubbles. And the magic part is that they are just a little puff of air trapped inside a thin film of soap and water but their precise spherical shape and beautiful swirling colors make them a true wonder of science. And if you touch them, they release a burst of fog. Well, this demonstration of science and performance had me ooing and eyeing. What about you? Do you like to touch one of these things or not? Egg Bomb. I'm sure you've never heard of exploding eggs. But don't worry, our regular ones won't ever explode while cooking like this. It's purely a scientific thing. And here's a clip of a scientist at the University of Brighton explaining it. And the best part is that they went for the mighty ostrich egg. 
and made two holes, one in its top and the other in its bottom. And the air is sucked out of the shell and hydrogen is pumped in. And then they place the egg in safety shields. Yeah, cause this is serious business. And after a few moments, the egg goes kaboom. Let's watch it in slow motion. Well, the hydrogen is less dense than air. The stronger the egg, the higher the pressure it fails at, and the more energy is transferred to the splinters. This is why the ostrich egg is so much more violent. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do like and share it with your friends. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to not miss any of the upcoming amazing videos. Thank you once again.